Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable the TPM in VMware Workstation Player so you can install Windows 11 because if you don't know you need a TPM on your virtual machine or on your computer I, sh I should say to run or install Windows 11. So we actually have another video where we install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation and then actually disable the TPM and it still ran without it enabled but to install it it's going to look for it and you need to have it enabled to install. Okay, so we have two VMs here. We have this Windows 11 with no T TPM, so I'm going to show you what happens when we try and install Windows 11 on it. Okay, click on Next here, Install. Okay, we'll just pick Windows 11 Home just for fun. Okay, PC can't run Windows 11. Okay, so that's what we expect. So we'll close out of this. Okay, so next we're going to go to our Windows 11 with TPM VM. So we're going to have to do a little configuration here. So what you want to do is you want to create the VM, you know, processor, memory, uh, virtual hard disk, and then mount the ISO for Windows 11, but don't actually run it yet. And then you want to close out uh, player and then you want to find the location of where you have your, your disk file. So we've got the one with TPM. Then you want to find the VMX file and then right click on it, open with, and then you could pick Notepad or whatever other text editor you like. And then we have this line here, which we want to copy and paste into there. I'll put it in the description. Let's go down to the end here. Okay. Now we can just save the file here. Close it out, open up player again. And then we want to go to our settings here. And now we could see, we could see we have a trusted platform module. Let's see what happened with what the other one looks like. No TPM. Okay, so that's good. So let's start it up and see what happens. Okay, same thing, install now. Okay, pick home again. Accept the agreement. So it looks like we're past that point there. So now it's going along with the uh, installation. So once again, back in player, create your VM, processor RAM, hard drive, mount the ISO file, then go to your directory where you have the VM files for that VM, find your VMX file, edit it by right clicking on it, open with notepad or whatever, then add this line in and you should go back in your settings, confirm you, ha confirm you have the TPM module and then continue with the installation and you should be running Windows 11 with the TPM. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.